Good morning, my name is Xenia Cheeks, standing in front of the Holy Artist's House. Good morning, Holy Artist. What is the plan? What is going on? The Holy Artist in action. Well, um, you see, Xenia Cheeks, um, I have an exhibition on today, and this is the first exhibition that I've uh, ever had. And um, I'm basically going to spread uh, the word of the fool to the people. The world of the fool to the people. It, just sou it sounds amazingly intriguing. Um, when you say the word of the fool, is it something that um, it should penetrate our very society? I hope so. Um, the fool is a very good uh, person to, uh, or character to take on board to access um, a certain state that can bring new ideas and new feelings. A certain state, new ideas, new feelings. I'm en actually enticed. I'm highly excited. Let's see what's coming up. <laughs> finally have arrived at the very gallery, the very spot itself where the action will happen, where beautiful imagery, beautiful imagination and the fool hopefully will transcend finally. Um, I have to say, holy artist, the journey itself, it was very interesting. How did you feel? It was indeed, it was a very interesting uh, journey. Um, we met an elephant. We met... Uh, <laughs> Excuse me. Yes, we, we met an elephant. I'm quite intrigued. Why this space? It's a good space. It's supposed to see something um, 
layers and more layers and layers and layers, which is like a certain step. If you, excuse me, if you want to say, oh God, this <laughs> very. Anyway, Trevor, I think we have to talk together. So I already feel like oh. It is a certain full stance, I have to say. Uh, oh gosh, <laughs> he's going completely mad. <laughs> I feel like I'm I'm turned inside out by it. It's um, it's, it's kind of almost unbearable. It's so moving. No, I just want to kiss him. Really, I just want to kiss him and touch him. But I know it's, that would be too much. Okay, hello. Nice, hello. Hello. <laughs> Sorry, can I interrupt you in your sensory experience? Okay, uh, your name? <laughs> okay, it's difficult, I'm not sure, maybe we wait for a second. So what do you think about him and his manifesto? Uh, I think it's wonderful, he's discovered something magical that we should all work upon and mm. free our minds and free our spirits to create. I'm not experiencing it at all. Oh God, what happened to you? Um, I'm just, just not, not here at the moment. relationship to this artist how did it come about uh, basically I was checking out websites and then I come across the holy artist and I thought mm -hmm. I've just got to have him at the gallery basically <laughs> he's probably the someone that everyone would want to see want to talk a bit more about your gallery uh, yeah we do all kinds of art we do dark art we do light art we do anything that's basically different
My name is Jin. Jin, where are you from? Uh, I don't really want to disclose that. It may have made me f think about where I am in my life. Did you get an answer? Of course not, no. I think he's on the, on the right track. But I'm not sure about this, this theory of license of fall. Okay, so you rather have problems with the theory than the actual artist or fool himself. Yeah, I think what he's trying to do is not... I mean, the, the theory of license of fool and whatever, it doesn't, doesn't contain, ev contain everything he does, I don't think. Probably because it's short and easy to write. Oh, bit, the dynamism. Diagonals, diagonal <laughs> dynamism. Diagonal. Oh, we have a alliteration. Oh, yeah, <laughs> tongue twister. <laughs> but it's also a in the literature, it's called an alliteration, which is um, starting with the same letter. So we have, um, I think this is my word of the day, or my two words um, diagonal dynamism. <sighs> 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 Do I supposed to talk now? It is up to you, obviously. So, uh, let me tell you about the Fool. Um, I'm a follower of the Fool's Manifesto. And uh, the Fool's Manifesto is uh, a manifesto created specifically to access the Fool. Um, so the question is, why do you want to access the fool? In our daily lives, we are very much confined by um, how we're supposed to behave and interact with one another, which is restricting for um, creating new ideas or new thoughts. So by embracing the fool, you are able to get closer to maybe um, something that is beyond the restrictions of uh, what do you apply to yourself and what society applies to you. Um, the Fool's Manifesto has um, uh, a couple of different points. Uh, because I have a very bad um, short-term memory, I can't actually remember the points right at this moment. But if we... Um, if we... Uh, well, my book... Where's my book? 
Okay, so um, let me open up. I have a book. Um, and I shall read now from the, the Fool's Manifesto. Put on a blindfold and walk along the edge of a knife whilst carrying the mind of the fool and secure your safe return by rejecting everything you believe to be true. When you reach the tip of the knife, follow the fool's manifesto. Point one, you are right. Point two, all rules can be broken, including rule two. Point three, oppose order. Point, point five, act on your impulses, do not stop yourself. Point four, always be in opposition. Oh God. <laughs> Obviously, it goes right and very right, and it's a penetration through body and th soul. Um, every fiber of my body was touched. Um, very powerful. Is that um, because it's a quite an emotional undertaking? Is that something we need to reach an emotional stage to be able to censor what we're about to experience? Well, there's many ways of uh, trying to uh, get close to the fool. Um, I have, over many years, developed a specific technique to uh, reach the fool. And I'm uh, very happy to share that knowledge, because I think knowledge is there to be shared. And um, to reach the fool, all one needs to do is to be a fool. Um, so how do you, how do you uh, just, tr how do you actually, because it's really difficult to be a fool, it's not just saying just be a fool. Um, you need to have some tools to try and help yourself access the fool. And uh, the, the tools are basically that I've developed over a lot of many years and a lot of hard work and a lot of pain and tears and cries and depression and all these, these heavy things. Um, it's uh, free association. You do whatever pops into your mind without censoring it. And it's not, I mean, a lot of people recognize free association in, in relation to writing, that like you just write what you need to do, uh, or no, what you write down whatever pops into your mind into a piece of paper. Um, whilst uh, with, with, uh, with my technique, it's, it's bodily. It's not dance, but it's, it's, it's bodily. And you just sort of do movements and say things and actions that um, basically just pop into your ma mind. And you don't censor it. And it's not going to happen immediately, but over time you will get closer to, to the fool. And then most of it's going to be rubbish, uh, what you do, but there might be some gems there. Because what is really important to understand is that I'm specifically talking about the licensed fool. Ooh. The licensed fool. We would like to elaborate this a bit more. Well, you see the problem with the fool himself. The fool, in a natural sense, the natural fool, he is not able to use his knowledge to, um, to basically uh, to talk to people. Um, he is not able to, he's able to access the knowledge of the divine or, or what have you, but he's not able to communicate that knowledge. So the licensed fool takes on the attributes of the nat natural fool. Um, so that he can communicate what he experiences um, when he is uh, um, been approaching the fool. Yeah, very interesting. I have a very simple question, just one word. Why? Well, for a society to develop, you need change. Um, and at the moment, I feel very much that society is stagnating. And this is the worst thing that I can, I think, uh, happen to humankind, is a society that starts to stagnate, uh, and a culture that doesn't develop. Um, uh, the fool is, not, uh, is an ambiguous uh, character, and he can create great change, or he can um, inspire change. Um, but I think the key word here is um, development. Development. So, 
to become a fool or, as you say, a licensed fool. Do you feel this is a sort of cure for our society? Well, it's only maybe one cure. I think society needs many cures, but it's, it's one step, I think, maybe, yes. Uh, one step in the right direction. One step in the right direction. That sounds wonderful. Regarding to your work, we will have a look uh, later. Yes, um, I yeah. I need to tell you about the work, because this is why we are all here. Um, I have created uh, 10 line drawings, specifically um, created to help you access uh, the fool. You have to stare at the line drawings over a very long period. Um, and then um, when you have stared long and hard at them, maybe days, without eating. Um, Is that a necessity without eating? No, not really. Um, it just sounds nice. Um, but uh, the longer and harder you stare at these line drawings, the easier it will be uh, for you to do the free association um, exercises that uh, you need to do to ac uh, access the fool. So would you say, if I would possess a line drawing like that in my very home, could I use this as a starting point on this journey to become a fool? Yes, indeed. I mean, uh, the object in itself has no power except the power that you give it. And um, so by uh, staring at it for a long time, you're giving that object a lot of power. So you are investing power into the object. And this is how it is specifically designed uh, for, uh, to do that. Thank you.